Top 20 Process Engineer Interview Questions and Answers A process engineer is mandated with transforming raw materials into useful and final goods. They are in charge of the equipment, systems, and the different methods used to transform raw materials into finished products. They not only design new equipment but also redesign the process flow in a plant. It is essential to know the areas to assess if you are looking for the right person for such a role. You can use the following 20 questions to prepare for an interview properly if you are looking for a job or interview candidate suitable for the position. 1. Why are you interested in this role? The interviewer wants to know why you applied for the given position and whether you have done proper research on what the job entails. Tip number 1. Point out a specific thing that you are targeting with your job application. Tip number 2. Point out something that sparked an interest in you in the job position. Sample answer, I have been working as a process engineer for the last 10 years, and it's something that I enjoy doing and want to continue doing. After going through the job description, I believe that this position will help me acquire more skills and solve challenging tasks. 2. What are the roles of a process engineer? The interviewer wants to know what your roles as a process engineer are. Tip number 1. Tell the interviewer some of the roles that a process engineer performs. Tip number 2. Ensure that you convince the interviewer that you clearly understand the roles in question. Sample answer. Process engineers supervise and test existing processes and workflows in a plant. They design, test, and implement new procedures depending on the targeted productivity. They are tasked with taking and tracking metrics to see the areas that need improvements. They also report to the higher management on their finding and proposals. 3. What are the qualities that a process engineer should possess to be effective? Here, the interviewer wants to know whether you understand the qualities it takes to be a process engineer. Tip number 1. Outline the qualities of a process engineer. Tip number 2. Make sure that you know the relevant qualities. Sample answer. A process engineer should have excellent communication skills for team coordination and management. He or she should be able to remain calm when under pressure owing to the nature of work. He should be a critical thinker and have both analytical and negotiation skills. Creative thinking and excellent problem-solving skills are also necessary. 4. What significant challenges did you face during your last role? How did you handle it? The interviewer wants to know whether you have adequate problem-solving skills and whether you are creative enough. Tip number 1. Outline a challenge that is relevant to the field. Tip number 2. Ensure that you clearly outline how you solved it. Sample answer. During my last role, I found it challenging to effectively relay to the construction teams the details that they needed. To solve this, I had to develop intelligent P&IDs, where I identified every vital aspect of the process and made the work even easier. 5. Describe your daily routine as a process engineer. The interviewer wants to ascertain whether you know what you will be doing daily in your workplace. Tip number 1. Explain what the typical day of a process engineer looks like. Tip number 2. Do not include unnecessary parts of the day. Sample answer. My daily routine as a process engineer revolves around managing equipment, systems, and different methods of conversion. I report to work early and get on with the day's business which includes processing and studying requests of modifications from the production team. I ensure current operating parameters are within the required standards and run simulations regularly. I visit the site if I need to meet with the operation or construction department. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. Here, the interviewer wants to know some of the places you have worked in the positions you held. Tip number 1. Answer in simple, active statements. Tip number two, only offer the necessary details. Tip number three, you can use data to highlight your achievements. Sample answer, I have spent seven years in Smith & Company. I started as a junior process engineer, where I was charged with developing new process technical data sheets, following on new process, analyzing it, and tending to improvements. Now, as a senior process engineer, I ensure that the process is efficient, ascertain its quality effectiveness, safety as well as pointing the areas that need improvement. I also manage different teams and have ensured that the company works with an excellent cost-friendly process. 
I understand that your company takes processes seriously, so I want to apply my optimum output skills. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? The interviewer wants to know if you have a clear, well thought plan that will lead to success and whether you are in the right mental frame to tackle what is at hand. Tip number 1. Give out a straightforward strategy. Tip number 2. Mention the right mindset for process engineering. Sample answer, to properly articulate my role and ensure successful operation, I will invest in teamwork and team building exercises so that everybody is at their best. I will regularly visit the site and directly converse with the operations manager instead of relying on phone calls and emails. This role requires an entrepreneurial mindset, and therefore, I will ensure that cots are minimized by settling on the best process. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Here, the interviewer wants to know some of the areas that may prove challenging once you take the job. Tip number 1. Be honest. Tip number 2. Precisely outline how you can mitigate the challenge. Sample answer. The biggest problem I foresee with this job has to be change orders. Change orders make the project costly and mess the deadline. However, I can adequately mitigate that by completing feasibility studies before commencing a project and applying complex engineering concepts that I have learned and discovered in my practice. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Here, the interviewer wants to know what keeps you going while at work. Tip number 1. Ensure that it is relevant to the job. Tip number 2. Make it personal, if possible. Tip number 3. Do not beat around the bush. Sample answer, I enjoy meeting deadlines, targets, and goals. This gives me the push to work even further. I also love mentoring and coaching others, as well as learning new things. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. The interviewer wants to know how your experiences have shaped you in your line of work. Tip number 1, talk about a personal experience. Tip number 2, clearly outline the lesson learned. Sample answer, during my early days working as a senior process engineer, I realized that I had only a handful of people. Therefore, I was overwhelmed and had to make desperate calls to the management. I designed the process and ensured that it was efficient but didn't have enough people to work on the logistics. I learned that I should always widen my team. I should have an in-house team dealing in the areas they know best and an engineering partner to deal with relatively detailed tasks. 11. Tell me how you plan, organize and prioritize your work. Here, the interviewer wants to know how you manage your time, whether you can manage your team's workload and meet the set deadlines. Tip number 1. You can describe your daily schedule. Tip number 2. Talk about how you shift between priorities. Tip number 3. Talk about deadlines. Sample answer. I record the assignments that needs completion the moment I get to work in order of priority and due dates to make handling urgent matters easy and keep me on track. I also communicate with my team lead on deadlines and also create mine, maybe a day or two in advance. 12. Name a time when your work led to an improvement in the organization. Here, the employer wants to know whether you are innovative or can yield results. Tip number 1. Use the STAR method when answering this question. Tip number 2. Describe your own experience. Sample answer. During my first days as a senior processing engineer, my organization faced influx of data owing to increased connectivity. The amount of data then became overwhelming. I suggested to the company and also oversaw more digitalization of the company, including use of proactive intelligence to discover abnormal events. This helped the organization predict potential outcomes and be adequately prepared. 13. Tell me about an experience in which you analyzed information and evaluated results to choose the best solution to a problem. Here, the interviewer is testing your decision-making ability. He or she wants to know whether you can critically analyze data and come up with the best solution. Tip number 1. Talk about a personal experience and include the different options that were on the table. Tip number 2. Be precise. Sample answer. At one point my team was dealing with aggressive timelines and budget constraints from corporate. The options at the table were going for the conservative engineering approach or plan and test processes up front. After looking at the different outcomes, 
I decided to settle on the latter and after that we never encountered the same problems again. 14. What is your approach in implementing process improvement? The interviewer wants to know what approach you will take to counter operational challenges. Tip number 1. Talk about a specific process improvement methodology. Tip number 2. Be precise. Sample answer. My best process improvement framework is Six Sigma. It helps me improve quality by removing the defects and errors from existing workflows since the strategies are applied continuously to a process until consistency is achieved. 15. Share an effective approach to working with a large amount of information or data which involve many overlapping processes. Here, the interviewer wants to know how well you can approach big data. Tip number 1. You should mention a resourceful approach. Tip number 2. Be clear. Sample answer, an effective approach that works for me is outsourcing analysis. Crowd-based outsourcing solutions come in handy when processing large volumes of unstructured data which in return improve internal organization. Crowdsourcing lets one transcribe, tag, analyze statements, cleanse, moderate and categorize data. 16. What do you understand by process engineering? This is a simple question, but it can be quite challenging. The interviewer wants to know what you understand by process engineering. Tip number one, explain what process engineering is. Tip number two, be precise. Sample answer, process engineering is the transformation of raw materials into finished products. A process engineer is, therefore, in charge of the production process. 17. How do you troubleshoot a piece of equipment in the plant? The interviewer wants to know whether you understand the basic mechanics of machines involved in the production. Tip number one, show familiarity with the equipment. Tip number two, suggest interaction with production workers. Sample answer, I will tell the equipment managers to recount their last steps and then consult data logs to develop testable theories. 18. Do you have any safety certification? The interviewer wants to know whether you are interested in maintaining plan security. Tip number one, outline a professional certification. Tip number two, be brief and straight to the point. Sample answer, I go for my OSHA training every year. 19. Have you ever identified a safety concern? The interviewer is testing your ability for critical thinking and problem solving. Tip number one, talk about a personal experience. Tip number two, give an example that clearly denotes successful solving of safety issues. Sample answer, while working for my current company, I realized that the heat exchanger operators couldn't see well due to the location of storage of the materials. I ensured that the materials were moved to prevent obscurity. 20. Do you have a Six Sigma certification, and are you at par with the stages? Six Sigma helps companies to assess and settle on cost-saving opportunities. The interviewer wants to know your willingness to pursue higher level professional training. Tip number one, outline the level of certification held. Tip number two, talk about your experience with Six Sigma principles. Sample answer, yes, I do. The two Six Sigma methods are Six Sigma DMAIC, which is applied when improving an existing process, and Six Sigma DMADV for new processes. The first method is an acronym for define, measure analyze, improve, and control. I am still pursuing further certification. Conclusion, a process engineer is an asset to an organization. You need to prepare adequately if you are called for an interview. I hope that these 20 top process engineer interview questions and answers will come in handy.